Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound Studios B. And today we're going to be talking about doing the dialogue basic grade for the female voice. It's much the same as the male voice. And what, what's a dialogue basic grade? Well, just like a picture basic grade for color timing, we want, we want to have a starting point from which we can do a creative color timing. We want to make sure the blacks and the whites are in the right place, that the color temperature is in the right place, contrast is right, color, chroma, all of it is at a basic level from which we can create creativity. And it's the same with dialogue, and you can do it with any kind of discipline in audio, where we want to find those frequencies in the dialogue that aren't really nice. We want to attenuate them so we have a nice, smooth, basic frequency palette from which we can add our creative mix. We want to do this with every mic on every actor in every scene. Now, it's not that big of a deal because you can use presets, and I show you how to do that in the Cinema Sound 85 Hour Education. But for now, this is so important. I want everybody to have the basic understanding of how to do this basic grade for dialogue. We're going to use Adobe Audition and the great plugins from our friends at Waves Audio. They make an EQ that, in my opinion, is tailor made just for doing this. Let's do it. All right, so we're back in Adobe Audition to do the female basic grade. Let's check this out. All right, let's first of all listen to this. Hmm, looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Then again, no one likes green lantern. Yeah, and it's true, no one likes green lantern. <laughs> first thing we notice is that she's a little low, so we're gonna double click. Uh, she see, it looks like it's pretty clean here. Um, and what I would like to do, there's a bunch of rumble down here, which we can see. Uh, the easy way in Adobe Audition to fix this is to go to this little button right here, the little square looking thing, and then just take everything that is underneath her voice, not counting that, that's just a little too high. In fact, we'll leave this and go to the paintbrush tool. Ooh, that's really, really large. Why, thank you. And, well, I tell you what, we'll go like this. We'll just take this bottom meat out. And we do that by going to this little thing here, it might be hard to see, and reducing it 100%. It does its calculation, and now all that low frequency noise is gone. Fantastic, we go back. Cool, oh, I know what I was doing. I was normalizing. I like to have these tracks at um, minus three dB. I don't wanna to normalize to zero dB because then if I wanna do more processing, it will go over and I don't like that. But here, I'll do this, it was actually pretty close. Very cool. Now let's do a basic grade. We want to get rid of those frequencies that our, our brain is sensitive to that has us go, hey, that sounds kind of harsh. What is that? And we'll have us turn the fader down on the music and sound effects and ambiences and, and, and Foley when we really just needed to turn down the frequencies inside the dialogue while also making the dialogue sound great. Those niggly little frequencies that show up. All right, so what we want to do, we'll make a loop here first on just this basic dialogue bit. And then I'm going to open my favorite EQ for doing this, which is the Waves Q10. And I like Q10 because it's got 10 bands and that's a lot. You can do this with any EQ, but it means usually they've only got three, four or five, maybe six bands and you're gonna to have to be stacking them. And I don't like stacking EQs, it just takes up more slots. So, um, and this happens to sound really nice. First thing we want to do, let me zoom in, is open a high pass filter. The female voice fundamental frequency is around 150 hertz. So if we roll off anything below 140, there shouldn't be anything here happening that's human. And we don't want that in our dialogue track. This is actually ADR, so we're probably not rolling off very much, but it's good to have there. And then we, um, what we want to do then is make, uh, take each band, make it loud and then very narrow. And we'll start around 150 hertz. And we're going to sweep up and down the frequency spectrum and listening for the sound to sing. And what do I mean by sing? Well, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to play this and then we're going to sweep and you can hear what this effect sounds Looks like. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And you can hear that sweeping sound. And some of those frequencies kind of ping out. They're like, oh, I'm really loud. Those are the frequencies that we want to find. And those are the frequencies that we want to get rid of. All right. So we're going to go back to 150 hertz or so. 
and start. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls. Now you hear those. Balls. That's singing. Ooh. Anywhere below 200 hertz is going to be the fundamental frequency of the actor's voice. And we don't want to get rid of that. We're going to need it. So we leave that. And now we move forward above 200 hertz or so. Those are the things that we want to get rid of as we find Looks them. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he right doesn't there. like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Really loud. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls. Really in his loud. Face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls. In so this is a really wide area. So we're going to make this a little abnormally wide. We usually don't go this wide on the first one, but it just happens to be that way. And we're going to reduce it quite a bit, maybe 15 dB. Usually 10 dB is where we'll stop, but Looks let's like see. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green... All right, and we'll do the next one. At th start at 350. 95Q and 18 decibel boost. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern okay. balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like that he one for sure like is singing out. Lantern balls in his face. Looks we'll like make he it wider. Like little green That's really loud. We'll reduce that to minus 12. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern. And we'll do the next one, 750 or so, 750. This will be 95 and 18. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern Ooh. balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like And we go around, we do this niggle around a little bit to see if there's one slightly louder in the same vicinity. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern and there's a bunch. There's just kind of clusters. This is an unusual track because she's her face is in a mask. So we're getting some of these weird overtones that are happening. All right, moving on. 930, call it 950, 95 Q, 18 dB. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like... Anything above a thousand hertz is going to kind of be sing-songy. You're going to hear it a little bit. We just want to pick out the ones that are really loud. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. That's a good one. Looks like he doesn't like little green. And now here at uh, 1850, 1918. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. That one's just a little. So we'll pull this down maybe eight decibels. And we'll keep going here. This is 44, 50, 95. You kind of get the idea, like but let's finish. Like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls. In and then above 5K, it kind of doesn't really matter. It it's, doesn't affect us that much. Um, this is an unusual one, and I wanted to show it to you because she did have a shroud over her face, so that's going to create some interesting frequency responses. Anytime above the fundamental where we see curves that are nice and neat like this, not little jaggedy curves, which is what we would expect to see, we want to go back and double check any of these humps, these big humps, and see what's going on there. So let's start down here. We'll just sweep through some humps and see if we can find anything Looks else. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern. And that one's still pretty strong, that 400 hertz one. So we're going to widen this one up even more and slide it up just a little bit. So that'll help that. And then uh, that reduces that. And let's check out this hump. 
Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And there's another one that's really strong there. So we'll go to band five. We'll lower it just a little bit and widen it even further to compensate. And then we'll check up in here. What band is this? Seven? Okay. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Little one right there. Not too bad. The big problem is because of that shrouding is that muffling that's going on down here. I'm going to try and listen in this area just to see if there's anything funny going on, although that should be okay. What are we at there? About 200 hertz. 18 decibels. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Big Looks one like right there. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And we will compensate because we've done a lot of reduction here by adding 3 dB to the output. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And let's turn it off. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And you can hear the difference between that and Looks this. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. It still sounds like she's shrouded, and, but we have lots of lows if we need it and some nice high, clean highs if we need it. And then when we add the contouring mixing EQ on top of this, we have a lot more latitude and this will blend so much better with music and sound Looks effects. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And it sounds like, you know, if we wanted her to sound like it was in a shroud more, this we've actually sort of erased some of most Looks of like that he shroud. Doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And I would say these two here, three and four, we'd either want to get rid of or reduce. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. See the difference? Maybe we'll turn three back Looks on. Looks like he doesn't like little Actually switch Looks them like four. Looks like he doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And so you'd have some control over how much shroud sound Looks like you'd he want. Doesn't like little green lantern balls in his face. And if we kill Looks two, like he doesn't like little green lantern. No, it's really three and four, maybe five. Looks like he doesn't like little yeah. green lantern balls in his face. So you could have control over that or reduce them with the actual decibels. But this gives us great control and a nice balancing feel over any line of dialogue. And then you can apply this on any of your channels that she shows up in, and you're in great shape. All right, I know this seems like a lot of work. And in the beginning, it is a lot of work. It's going to take you some practice to get good at doing, you know, finding these little frequencies. But it'll get faster and faster and faster. And every time you do it, you'll be creating a preset, right? Which I, again, show you how to do in the Cinema Sound Education. Saving presets for actors, for microphones, for scenes. So you just bring them up and you always have a basic starting point for your basic grade. Now, professionals don't really do basic grades. What? Yeah, we don't because we've done this for 30 years and we know, oh, I know what those frequencies are and I can quickly just dial them in and move forward. It doesn't really affect our creative mixing process. But for you, for now, as a great practice to tune your ears and tune your gear, especially if you've got the Waves Q10 plugin, this is what you want to start with. And you're going to get so fast and have a slew of presets. And after 20 or 30 tries at doing this, you're going to be able to move on and go quickly. And look, come on to the cinemasound.com forum and check, uh, ask questions and, uh, or even on the blog for uh, this particular uh, posting. And we'll do our best to get you up and running and get your questions answered. And until then, we'll see you in post. Even if it's for yourself.